Hi everyone, my name is Kevin Kotz and I'll be your instructor for History 337, uh, Roman Republic. Um, I just wanted to introduce myself and make a little video introducing you to the class. And what I thought I'd do is just go through just really briefly a bit of the syllabus. So here's the syllabus here. Um, I've given you my contact information. Now, normally I'm in my office most of the days, um, but this is COVID and lockdown, so I won't be in my office at all this semester. Um, you can certainly contact me by email. Um, I'm usually pretty quick about getting back with emails and we'll get back to you usually the next day. Um, if, it's, if it's sent to me late, if it's sent to me in the morning, I get back to you on the same day. Um, I will set up a Zoom room. We are totally asynchronous course, so there's no live meetings, but I know that sometimes it's easier just to chat um, with either one of you or a group of you through Zoom. So just let me know if you want to do that and we can certainly set that up. Um, I do have a new part of my syllabus called just a COVID note and it really just talks about giving each other allowances. Um, I talk a little bit about some of the things that I've been going through and will go through through the end of June. Um, um, the main part of this is that I need you to contact me if you're having any issues whatsoever. So as I put up here, you know, I can't see you, I can't hear you if you're having trouble. Um, so email me. Um, and I do want to note that um, as a Roman historian, I love this time period and I really want you to enjoy the class. Um, now, of course, enjoying means um, you still have to work your way through it, but it should be a really fun, um, fun, fun course. And so what I do here is I give you the official description. I talk a little bit about what I'm um, how I would describe it. And then I just want to remind you, it's an upper level history course, so we'll be doing quite a bit of reading and analyzing sources. It's what you normally do in a history course. Um, if there's something you don't understand in the lectures, certainly contact me as soon as possible. Don't let it sit around. Let me, let me know right away. Um, I have two textbooks here. Uh, one is by Gwyn, a very, very short book on the Roman Republic. Um, and then I've done something I normally don't do is if I've assigned you a book that's been worked on by me and Randy Utz, who is a, um, an MA student in our uh, program. So Randy and I put together this book titled An Anthology on the Roman World. And so I'd like you to use that for one of your, your textbooks. And then uh, just the other day, I happened to find online, and this is obtained legally. I want to make sure I let you know that. Um, it's called The Handbook to Life in Ancient Rome. Um, so it's actually a pretty useful book. I don't have you looking at it spe to do specific readings. It's I put it up on Blackboard for you to use as a reference for some of your assignments, if you want to use that. I do list ver various articles. Now, I have to admit, being a Roman historian, I always get excited about this topic. So I put quite a few articles up there for you to read, and some of them are optional. And I really do mean that they are optional. They're, you won't be tested on them. I'm not going to be talking about them. Um, but if you're interested in the topic, please read them and use them in your assignments um, if you'd like to do that. I also will have you be reading um, something called primary sources. And these are written by the Romans themselves. So I'll ask you to read some of these and I will give you the actual texts um, through the PDFs. And then some of the readings will be found at a Google book um, so you don't have to buy it. It's called Environmental Problems of the Greeks and Romans. I'm using this in another class and it's really good. All you have to do is click that link and it will open up the first six chapters. Um, I give you the course learning outcomes. Um, these are things that you'll be able to do when you finish the class. So for example, you'll be able to critically analyze Roman history through literature, archaeology, art, and through primary and secondary texts. I also give you the general education requirement outcomes um, for this particular course. Um, let me just skim through some of this. So grading. I grade based on percentages and not total points. So I'll show you this in just a second. Um, I'm also kind of particular when it comes to word counts. So if I ask you to write, say, an essay of 400 words and you give me 300, I figure you've only done 75% of the assignment and 75% is the highest grade you can get if everything else is totally correct. So be sure that you're hitting, getting really close to the word count for your assignments. And then I give you the grading scale and the late policy and so on. Um, 
And then here's the important part, your assignments. Now, I'm not going to go through each one of these. I'll give you a, 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 diff, a better description in the, weeks fold, in the weeks folder. So, for example, in week one, you'll be doing an academic writing assignment. And that's worth 2% of your entire grade. That means if you don't do it, the highest you can get in the course is a 98 if you get a straight A on everything else. Now, the big project you'll be working on is a team project. So you'll be creating a team website with Adobe um, Spark, and I've created videos on how to set all that up. You can find that in the class. And then each of you will be writing three podcasts. So these are short essays, about 750 words each. And then um, you'll be writing these, and then you will pop them up on your team website um, really as a video. We're going to use Adobe Spark Video in this, in this course instead of other podcast softwares that are out there. Um, and then each podcast is worth 12% each. So the total is 36% total for the course. And then what I do is I give you a description. Now I will be going through this in more detail the closer it gets. But I do want to let you know that each team, and I'll, I'll be creating these teams randomly with Blackboard, um, each team will be assigned a geographic area. So for example, one team will get um, Rome and the surrounding area. Um, another team might get North Africa and Spain. So this is the area that you'll be working on when you start to do your team projects. And then um, the team projects, of course, are your video. Now, the, the, your, I'm sorry, your podcast. These are not team projects. You've had a team video, but the, pro, the podcasts are your own particular assignment. So, and then what I do is I give you a list of topics that you get to choose within your geographical area. So if you're in a team that's um, Rome, and you decide you're interested in the settlement of retired soldiers, which is really about migration. Um, you will make a podcast on the settlement of retired soldiers within Rome and central Italy. If, you're in, if your team is in Spain or centered in Spain, then you'll talk about settlement of retired soldiers in Spain. And then you've got three podcasts you can do. And I just give you a few um, suggestions on what you can do, but I give you quite a few topics that you can choose from. Um, and you should really think about these because I'd like your three podcasts on these top, the same topic. So if you pick women in Republican Rome, I want podcast, podcast one, two, and three on the topic of women. And then for each team, I want you to create a, or have a webmaster, someone who creates the website. Now this is a team project, so you'll need to all give input on what it looks like and then keep it up to date and then look interesting. So we're a class on Roman Republic, so I expect to see some type of picture that's related to the Roman Republic and not the empire. So empire is everything after Augustus, the first, the first em emperor. Um, I want someone to be uh, called the time master. This makes sure that all the entries of the podcast are done on time and placed on the website. And then the check master is someone who's make sure that the entries are actually done as required. So each podcast needs a bibliography, correct source, and so on. Now you are not, if you're the check master, you're not required to correct anything. It's not your problem to do that. You just tell somebody, hey, you, you don't have a bibliography. You should fix these because this is a team project. Um, and then I give you the specific directions for the podcast. So I, again, I will go through all this in a separate uh, video. You'll have two discussions you'll be doing on primary text and some of the articles. And then there's some more short discussion boards like an inter introduce yourself, of course, survey and so on. Um, I do give you instructional quizzes. So these are quizzes on the instructions of your assignments. They're very short um, and use the syllabus to do that. And you have to get a 90% or above to do the actual assignment. So this class, we don't have any, there's no midterm and there's no final exam. You'll have three quizzes and then I will describe the quiz before you take it. And you'll be using this, the weekly student learning outcomes as your study guide. And then there's some extra credit. And now, uh, for the important part, what you'll be doing each week. And each week, the folders will open up, and you'll see this material within each week's folder, but you'll get to see it beforehand on the syllabus. So for example, in week one, um, 
At the end of this week, you'll be able to identify a thesis statement, um, create proper citations, um, know what academic dishonesty is, and then you'll be able to cr create your team website. Um, each week is set up similarly, so I'll have you uh, do something, uh, watch. So these are videos that I create um, where how to create your website. Um, watch a video on academic writing. Watch a, and these are all very short. Citing 101, how I want you to cite. And then um, how to access the library's databases for articles. And then I'll have a do section. So I want you to introduce yourself this week. I want you to do a syllabus quiz, which will take you just a few minutes and you get to use the syllabus. And then in this first week, I want you to organize. I'll set up the teams. I want you to meet each of your team members and start talking about this. And then I have a very short writing assignment for you to do. You're not actually writing anything. You'll be identifying a thesis statement in um, this article that I'd like you to read. And then I want you to create a footnote from it. So really, you're not writing anything. And all the directions I um, will be talking about in the actual assignment on Blackboard. OK, and then I'm not going to go through all these. Like I said, each week is set up exactly the same. I do give you weeks where there's no lectures, where I just want you to work on, you know, concentrate on work, um, preparing for quiz one. Um, take the quiz and the podcast instructions. Um, do a bit of reading. I want you to start thinking about certain things, so potential topics. Discuss your topics with your teams, because I don't want anyone, anybody doing um, the same topic within your team. Now, if you say if there's four of you who want to do women in the Roman Republic, just make sure you're doing something very different from the other person. And then, you know, it goes on. Um, I do have a special week, week nine, which I just call field trip week. We're not doing any lectures that week. I've got a bunch of links I'd like you to look through just, just for your own personal information. They're kind of fun to look at, some of the new research that's coming out and so on. And then at the end of the syllabus, you should definitely read the, de the departmental statement. I've already added it. Sorry, I forgot to take that out. Um, this is something that the Department of History faculty put together. Um, make sure you read about academic dishonesty and what that is. Um, if you're caught um, plagiarizing on a quiz or um, cheating or doing other things, um, more than likely you'll fail the entire class. So I've got a report that I have to fill out, um, which keeps track of these things. Um, if you have a documented disability, please contact me and we'll do any, anything I can to make sure you succeed in the course. Um, here's all the information for the Student Center for Academic Achievement. Um, this is really important, the Title IX information on harassment and sexual violence. So if you ever feel you've been discriminated against or harassed or abused by anyone at the university, please tell someone. You can talk to me directly or uh, contact the Title IX office. And of course, there's the emergency information. Um, so again, you know, contact me if there's anything you need for the class. Send me an email. We can meet. We can chat about the course information or whatever it is that you need. And I will talk to you soon.